Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about gastroesophageal reflux disease or simply GERD. It is a digestive disorder that affects the lower esophageal sphincter. It is bundle of muscles at the lower end of esophagus where it meets the stomach. When the LES is closed, it prevents acid and stomach content from traveling backward from the stomach. Problem in closing of this muscle can cause reflux of gastric content into lower esophagus that can cause esophageal inflammation and irritation. So the pathophysiology of a GERD depends on various factors and it may be the cause of either abnormal lower esophageal splinter or increased abdominal pressure. Uh, there are several types of your abnormalities in the lower esophageal splinter. It can be functional, mechanical due to foods or either medication or because of a location such as hiatal hernia. The functional cause uh, will be the frequent transit LES relaxation and and also hypotensive LES. That is the most common cause of your GERD. Other causes can include by foods such as coffee and alcohol, also calcium channel blocker and also increased abdominal pressure. Increased abdominal pressure such as obesity, pregnancy and increased gastric volume causes uh, the relative pressure of the LES to be decreased and that's why the gastric contents go back to your esophagus. Talking about the histopathology of your GERD, there will be presence of inflammatory cells in squamous layer, there will be basal zone hyperplasia, elongation of lamina propria and you will in early stage and the late stage you can identify the early and the late stage with the presence of your eosinophils and neutrophils. If you observe the eosinophils, intraepithelial eosinophils, you will, uh, there will be early injury. If there will be intraepithelial neutrophils, there will, there will be indication of the late injury. Now, what are the clinical features? The main uh, clinical features, uh, you can will observe that it will be heartburn, chest pain, dysphagia, and regurgitation. Also, there will be uh, cough, asthma, laryngitis, and dental erosions as well. The diagnosis uh, is main, made on history and the trial of your PPI such as omeprazole and if the PPI doesn't solve this uh, endoscopy is done and the alarming sim symptoms uh, on which the uh, uh, your endoscopy is done is your dysphagia, anemia, weight loss and positive fecal occult blood test. If endoscopy is normal, mammometry is done. 